guess first of all, any, any update on Q or what's his available? He practiced yesterday and actually did a great job. I mean, he was, uh, you know, his foot bothered him afterwards, no question. And he put a boot on right away, right after practice. I know he saw Ryan today. But uh, what was interesting is the five days off, uh, was great for his legs. He had a lot of pop, a lot of uh, juice in those legs, having not been out on them. That's amazing what a little rest will do. But he got winded. You know, he talked about the crack. He got a little winded out there, and that's what happens too. So it was good he got out there to have a chance to uh, be effective uh, tomorrow. So when he's uh, okay to practice today, I haven't talked to him today. Been a long time since she's seen LSU, but is there anything that you can take from that pr pr previous first game? You know, you're right. It, was, it seems like an eternity ago. And that was the <laughs> second game of the conference, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, we went back and watched the tape, obviously, to watch the the uh, film. Uh, but uh, you know, I think they're uh, playing pretty good right now. They, you know, I thought they should have beat Georgia on the road. I mean, I watched that game last night. That was the game before they just beat Tennessee, and they had Georgia beat over at Georgia. You know, one point lead was six seconds to go. They called a foul late, a second to go, to, uh, you know, let J.J. Frazier make two. And, you know, you don't always get that call. Uh, but you know, they, they're playing better right now than they played when we played them, for sure. And uh, their premier players are very talented. Big guy inside is a problem. Uh, they're playing more guys. They, they've got a lot of depth. Um, you, know, uh, you know, Blakeney and Sampson in particular is really playing well too. The last few games, he's, he's a, a, a very good player. So it's going to be, a, you know, a formal challenge, no question. What's I, different about them now than than when they were scuffling earlier in the? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I can't answer for them. They just seem uh, uh, together, and uh, you know, I mean, they're young. I mean, they start freshman, two sophomore in the backcourt. Those guys have matured. Those guys are, are, are older. And you just look at their last couple games. I mean, you know, they played Georgia, played Tennessee, both good teams, and um, you know, played well in those games. Um, so you know, they probably got a little confidence here. Uh, coming off that win against Tennessee, and uh, <coughs> you know their their inside kid, you know played well against us the first time. So, and, and, and their depth, uh, you know they've got pretty good depth helping them off the bench right now. Being the only senior that you had this year, obviously you probably leaned on IJ a lot for leadership. What well, just that was hard to sum it up in a couple paragraphs. But what has he meant to you? You know his time here. And, and I really like IJ, and you know IJ is going to be a coach. That's his uh, goal. Once he's done playing, he's going to try to play somewhere next year, and he'll be very, very successful coach. Really knows the game. He, we're going to miss his leadership, uh, you know, and it really hurt us when he had that five-game stretch where he was sitting out with injury uh, right in the middle of our conference because uh, that's our best leader and, and the guy who understands the game the best. And, and uh, but just in terms of what he's been personally, he's been great. I mean, I've really been proud of, of him and how he's evolved as a young man. Uh, you know, he's a father, he's got a beautiful little baby boy, and he's really, really a good uh, dad and, and loves his son very much. And uh, that's really gratifying how much responsibility he uh, takes for uh, taking care of that little guy and making sure he's going to grow up and be successful. Uh, and I love seeing that. Um, and he's been, you know, great in terms of trying to help these younger kids and talking to them, you know, through all the ups and downs of being a freshman and everything they've been through. He, he's, you know, maintained a very uh, positive uh, influence on our team this year at all times. It's been great. Who do you see filling in that role for him next year? I know you still have a young team, but with what he's handed it's a, down. It's a good him. question. I don't think anybody's going to be able to fulfill his what exactly what he's brought this year. We don't have anybody like IJ, uh, you know, outside of him in our program right now. I mean, in terms of, uh, you know, being what, what he is right now, it's a very good question. I think it has to evolve.
Are the other guys you want to see? What, what are the well, guys? Well, the, the, the number one guy would be Q. And, uh, you know, Q's nature is to be a little more quiet and reserved rather than, uh, and that's something he's got to, well, we definitely want to encourage him to get better. You think that's a dynamic that may change when Nick comes? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think he, he he's much more outspoken this year than he was a year ago, and he's got to take that next step. But that's who it needs to be for us. When you became the coach here and things, uh, of course, college basketball being what it is now, lots of transfers and things, did you have to have a conversation with IJ about maybe sticking around here and, and uh, kind of having that continuity and things? I, I, I don't remember that uh, as much as just, uh, you know, I, I know how much he's grown as a young man from when I first arrived to uh, where he is today. And, and that gives you, it gives me a lot of uh, happiness to see how much uh, growth he's made. How do you keep Reith off the glass? Yeah, he's good. He's long. And what, what, what he can do, too, is he can step out and shoot. He's good around the basket. Uh, as you pointed out, he's good on the glass. Uh, you got to block him out. you got to lay a body on him. you got to be physical, uh, just like anybody. Uh, but he poses some issues because of his length and his skill level, you know, combined. Lamar hadn't really had one of those big scoring spurts like we saw maybe during the middle of the season. Do you think it's, you know, the freshman wall or is it all the injuries starting to mount up? Why do you think he hadn't really? Yeah, and he's, he's struggled since he uh, – had the uh, injury against Ole Miss in terms of his shooting. And I think some of it's been a shot selection. I think he was better in the last game. He still, you know, was, uh, you know will take a bad shot uh, once in a while. But, uh, you know, uh, yeah, his, his uh, like I thought that uh, yesterday, just watching him shoot, and we'll do some shooting again today in practice. For him, it's all but having more arc on a shot. And that's the, the main thing for him. When he's missing, it's flat. Uh, when they're going in, they have good arc on it. And that for him is just, you know, I was reminding him yesterday, exaggerate your arc. Because exaggeration for him on his arc is a, you know, well arc, you know, perfectly arc shot. I mean, he doesn't ever put too much arc on his shot. Um, so for him, that's what he's got to, you know, get back to. When you go back and think about those games like against Missouri where he made six threes, they were all beautifully high arcing shots. Any more questions? Okay.